point about drawing ducts is the thing about the system types, which we will talk about right now. Now, before we talk about the system types, we should know that we can group our types of ducts into three groups. One is exhaust, the other is return duct, and the other is supply duct. Now, the first one, exhaust, is actually the air that needs to be uh, thrown away. It's actually the air that we no longer need. For example, the parking exhaust or the bathroom exhaust. We just want to make a way for the air of the parking or the bathroom to go outside. So we call these ducts exhaust. Now a return duct is a duct which takes the air and after applying some processes and making some changes to that air, it returns the air into the space. Now why are we using that space air? It's because some energy has been spent to purify and um, fix the temperature of that air. And now we don't want to waste all that spent energy. So we're just going to use some of the uh, air from that space and we call that return air. And supply is actually the purified air which enters a space. So now based upon these explanations, we have three different types of ducts exhaust, return, and supply. Now, how can we show them in Revit? Why should we even uh, clarify and show them over there? We have two reasons for that. One is that depending on what the system type of our duct is, we can graphically adjust that duct or set of ducts. As in, we differentiate the colors of the exhaust, supply, and return ducts from one another. So that if we are looking at our plan, graphically we can see we have different colors for each type of duct. Now the second reason is that if we are about to um, adjust our design or sizing in Revit, each of those ducts have uh, their own uh, special properties. As in the air velocity and the pressure drop is different in each of these ducts. So it's important that we separate these ducts from one another. Now, how can we do that? We're going to go to the Systems tab and activate the Duct command. Then we select a fitting type. And here in the Properties window, if we open this System Type drawer, we can see Exhaust, Return, and Supply. Now, because by default it is set on Supply, so far in all of these videos, we have been drawing ducts with Supply. For example, you see right here, click and click and escape once. Now as you can see supply was drawn in blue. Now let's draw one with return, click, click and escape. You see return is in pink. Now the last one, let's draw one with exhaust, click and click and now escape. Okay now to see the line weights we can go to the quick access toolbar and then turn off this thin line option so that we can see the ducts better. So now all of these ducts have been differentiated by color as well as their uh, design properties. We do have all of these design properties in Revit so we will talk about them later. But now the question is can we change these ducts colors? Yes, of course we can. But we can also use a shortcut instead. What does that mean? For example, let's go check out this project right here. This is actually a plan for uh, a food court and a kitchen space. Alright, now if you look closely, you can see that the supply duct is indicated uh, by the initials SAD, supply air duct. Or we have RAD for the return duct, return air duct. Or here we have FAD which stands for fresh air duct. So how can we include these? Because we want to make our Revit model as similar as possible to the plan that we're given. So in case we have any of these types of initials in our given plan, we will also include those in our model. So now let's go see how we can put in these initials SAD, FAD, or RAD. Let's go back to Revit. Here in the project browser window, we had a section under the name views. Actually, let me close this. We also have some other sections in this window. 
And now uh, we're going to talk about families. If we click on the plus mark, the drawer will open. So now we're going to go to Duct Systems and open Duct System. So the same three things that we had when we went to the Properties window and opened this system type, we also have them here in the Project Browser window. So now, for example, if we want to have SAD instead of Supply Air Duct, we're going to right click on Supply Air and we're going to get a duplicate from it. Or in other words, we're going to copy it. Now, as we click on that, you can see that a new Supply Air has been added. Now we're going to right click on this one and rename it and name it SAD and then press Enter. All right, now if we go to the Systems tab and open Duct, we can see that SAD has also been added to the list. So we're going to add it in the Project Browser window and see it in the Properties window and then we can use it while we are drawing. All right, now you might think to yourself that uh, we said that we would also be changing their colors. So how are we going to do that? We can go and right click on this SAD and click on the uh, type properties. And then a new window will open which has a graphics section. So we're going to edit it. You see we have line graphics as in we will be changing the color of the line of the duct. Now this one's blue so we're going to set it on red for example. So now let's close them. We're going to click OK. And now let's go back to the Systems tab and Duct Command and select the SAD type. Click and click and Escape. So now we have a duct in the color red. Alright, now we want to put those initials. So we're going to duplicate Return Air and always make sure that you pay attention to your duct type. For RAD, we're going to duplicate Return. Don't make the mistake of duplicating supply because that will create problems for you later. For example, if your type was exhaust, you're going to have to duplicate exhaust and rename that one. You can right click on it and rename it to EAD. Or for example, it might be for the bathroom. You're going to right click and duplicate it and then you are going to rename it to TED for example. You might need to name it TED, Toilet Exhaust Duct. Or if your type was uh, return, you're going to uh, duplicate return and then rename it and make it RAD and then press enter. So now what about that FAD that we had in the plan earlier, that fresh air duct? We only have supply, return and exhaust ducts. We don't have anything named fresh. So we can't duplicate or rename it uh, and then use it. So, in case we want to uh, include FAD for the fresh air duct, we can make it a supply duct. We will right click and duplicate and then rename this one to FAD. So, you see, each of these types that we just created, we can go to the Systems tab and open Duct. We will also see them right here. Now, do you see this SAD initials right here? Right above it, we have another option. Actually, uh, let me extend this window. This one says System Classification. System Classification is that original type of it. We duplicated SAD from Supply. Or for example, FAD. As you can see here, it says Supply. This Supply Air is its System Classification. As we go further, when we're talking about the filters, we will also talk more about these classifications as well. So keep this one in mind. Or for example, EAD here, it says its classification is exhaust. Or for example, if we go to TED, which we just added, you can see here it says exhaust air. So this is something almost like when we say we are all human and someone's name is Sahar, someone is Maryam, or someone else is Ali. The names are different, but originally we are all human. And now these ducts are originally supply, but for example, one of them is named SAD, another one's FAD, 
So they're only different in their names, um, which here we call system type. Or for example, we have a classification for the flowers, but each of those fl flowers have different names. For example, we have uh, Maria or roses. They're all the same, but their names are different. Okay, now for their colors, we can go right click and then open the type properties window and you can see here it's showing me EAD. Now we can edit its graphics. We're going to set the color for EAD to this um, dark green and then click OK. And remember that here color is indicating the color uh, around this duct. Now we also have two other options which are pattern and weight. So pattern actually changes the pattern uh, of the line around the duct. For example, we want to make dot lines or dash lines. So we're going to open the drawer and we can see all of the different uh, patterns that we have in the template. And we can also add some new patterns as well, but that's the thing that we will be talking about later on. So for example, I'm going to select this dash dot line. And now we can also change the weight of the line. And for example, uh, we might set it on 7. But you should know that it's not really recommended that you change these patterns and weights. There's nothing wrong with doing that, it's just not recommended. I just wanted you to see uh, how it's done. So now uh, let's click OK and close these windows. And now let's draw a duct with EAD to see how it turns out. Systems, duct, and now we select EAD and then click and click. Now we press escape. So now the first thing is that its line weight is different than the others. It's because we increased the line weight. And the line pattern is now dash duct, as you can also see right here. And also its color is the dark green that we just set. Alright, now you remember this thin line option which we turned off earlier? If we click on it, it would actually deactivate the line weights. It would only show us thin lines without considering the weights. Alright, now another point is that if we go down here in the view control bar, we have an option named scale. Now, if we change the scale, for example, this one is set on 1100 by default. So we're going to change it to 1500. Actually, let's turn off the weights for a second. As you can see, the pattern that we adjusted earlier, it's not visible in 1500. So let's set it on 120. And as you can see, the pattern is much more clear now. Or for example, we're going to set it on 15. So actually, these uh, graphic styles or patterns that we have, they also depend on our scale. In some scale, we might not even see these patterns but we might be able to see it in another. So make sure you remember this one. All right, now for example, we're gonna go to FAD and right click on it and open type properties and edit its graphics and change this one's color to, for example, we're gonna choose cyan and then we click OK. Now it's not necessary that we close this window to edit all the other types. We can go here in the type section and select, for example, RAD and then we're going to edit that one and change its color. For example, we're going to set it on orange. Then we click OK and for example, we're going to also give it a pattern. I'm going to select dot and as for its line weight, I'm going to set it on two. And now we're going to click OK and close these windows. Now let's go to systems tab and duct and draw one with RAD. Click and click. Now we have the dot pattern and now draw another with FAD, click and another click. Now let's see the line weights. Let me zoom in and you remember that we set this one on two. So compare it to this one and this one. All right, now another thing. Which type did we draw this one with? It was SAD and the one above it was exhaust, which was its own default. Actually, let's right click on exhaust and go to type properties and edit the graphics. All right, now here pattern and weight both say no override, as you can see right here. 
This means that no setting has been adjusted yet. So where do we have these uh, pattern and weight from? In fact, we have an option named object style. In fact, in that window in Revit, uh, it has been adjusted by default. Uh, what weight should the lines of the ducts have as well as which pattern? Let's go see where that is. We want to learn about that one too. If we go to the Manage tab, we can see an option named Object Styles. If we click, a new window will pop up and we can see a list of all the categories available. And for example, we're looking for Duct. So we're going to find it and as you can see, it says that by default, all of the ducts will be drawn with the weight number 5 with the color black and pattern solid. So in case no color has been adjusted for it, as in you go here and you see no override in the properties, the no override for uh, weight and pattern will take their properties from right here. And these properties for duct and duct fitting, uh, these could be different from each other. So we can adjust each of them separately. Now, for example, I'm going to go to Exhaust and open its type properties and then open Edit. And for example, we might want to uh, reset all of these settings. So we're going to click on Clear Overrides. And do you see how they all change to No Override? Now let's close these windows and as you can see, it just changed. This exhaust duct, which was green previously, is now in black. Now where does this color come from? It comes from object styles and duct. Line weight 5, color black, pattern solid. Now if we make any changes here, for example, change the uh, line weight uh, default to number 3. After that, all of the ducts will be drawn with the line weight 3. So now we have some settings in object styles, which uh, are the default settings. And besides that, we can also adjust some settings in the system type. Remember that the settings that you adjust over here are prioritized over the settings in object styles. As in, if you adjust any settings for weight, pattern, uh, or the colors, these ones will be applied. They are prioritized over the ones in object styles. But in case you uh, adjust nothing here, it will take its properties from object styles just like this exhaust duct that you just saw. So now even in CAD, these ducts are uh, drawn with different colors and also the different types are indicated. We can also apply every single one of them in Revit, which means that we can draw these SAD ducts in purple, RAD in blue, and FAD in the color cyan. So in the future videos, we will talk more about these working on a project.